Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha, AKA Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto. I'm excited to jump on and share this recipe with you. It may be new to you guys or not. It's for what is known in the keto community as the chaffle. It's been all the rage recently and I can certainly see why, because they are amazing. But you all know I had to add my own twist to the original recipe, so stay tuned to see just how. Truffle is essentially a cheese-based waffle. So what you're gonna need is cheese, eggs, and a little bit of seasoning and sweetener. By the way, go ahead and make sure to subscribe, like, and share. If you do like the video, it really helps the channel. I take my cream cheese out ahead of time. I like to have my cream cheese and my eggs and all my wet ingredients at about room temperature. I honestly want the cream cheese softened to make the mixing process easier, but not so hot that it's gonna cook the eggs. So a happy medium. Once the cream cheese is nice and softened and supple, we can start to add all the rest of the wet ingredients the flavorings, the sweetener, all the rest of the good stuff. I added about 23 drops of this liquid stevia that I use every morning in my coffee. I use the same amount in my single cup of coffee. That will gauge for you how much I like sweetness, so you can adjust the taste. I then added a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and a dash of Redmond's Real Sea Salt. I then went ahead and shaved about a half a teaspoon of fresh nutmeg into the mix. Then go ahead and add one whole egg to your wet mix. Unfortunately, I ran out of maple extract, but if I had some left, I would have added about a half a teaspoon to the batter at this point. Then to further intensify that maple pecan flavor, go ahead and add about a half of a teaspoon of syrup into the batter. Then just go ahead and give all the wet ingredients a good whisk to make sure they're evenly combined. This chicken and maple sausage patty has been one of my favorites by Applegate Farms for a long time. If I was doing favorites videos, this item would definitely be up in the top three. When I thought of making a chaffle, my mind immediately went to the McDonald's McGriddle. For, for whatever reason, I guess I was missing having that or tasting that. I haven't had it in years, but I wanted to make a chaffle that reminded me of a McGriddle. So savory and sweet at the same time, and I think I pulled it off here. So I just went ahead and crumbled up the turkey sausage, and then I stir fried it in a little bit of salted curry gold butter and then added a little bit of the maple pecan syrup I'm layering in that flavor that maple pecan deep flavor in at every level the sausage is pre-cooked so you're really just doing this process to get a little bit of a sear on the meat and also to bring out the sweetness and the flavor in the sausage You can start prepping your cheese or cheeses. I went with mozzarella because it's very mild along with halloumi because it's already a frying cheese and I knew it would add a nice salty flavor to the outer crust. I then added the seared sausage to the wet mix, gave it a good stir and added about a quarter cup of the shredded mozzarella to the wet mix as well. I preheated my waffle iron for about five minutes. I then toss in a half a tablespoon of blanched almond flour into the wet mix just for safety. I then went ahead and sprayed my preheated griddle with some olive oil and nonstick spray. Then start alternating the cheeses, the mozzarella and halloumi onto the preheated and spritz grill. Putting some of the cheese down first and giving it a chance to grill will ensure that the crust is a little bit crispy while the inside of the chocolate is just a tad bit chewy. It'll be great. 
Go ahead and let that egg and cheese mixture set up on the grill for a little bit. Let it marry and come together. Then you can just go ahead and close down the lid. Then go ahead and let the chopper cook for about three minutes. After a few minutes of grilling, you can go ahead and open up the top and sprinkle a little bit more of that cheese mix, the halloumi and the mozzarella, on top of the chapels. And then close the cover back down for a few minutes and let the top get brown and crispy as well. I don't know if it's the quality of the unit or because the halloumi cooks faster and browns faster than the mozzarella, but the chapels did come out with these little edges and corners that were darker than other places. But let me tell you something, those crispy, crunchy pieces were some of the best. And then in contrast with the parts of the chopper that were a little bit softer, it was really nice. Here's a little diva tip. I love to bake my bacon because I can just set it and walk away from it for about 15 minutes and set the timer. 225 degrees for about 15 to 17 minutes, they'll come out perfect. Repeat the cooking process with the remaining batter. I decided to put them back in and let them brown a little more. I decided to make some simple eggs and cheese using a little bit of heavy cream, salt, pepper, and some aged Kerrygold cheese. I find that adding some of the cheese into the egg wash along with adding the heavy cream into the egg wash and whisking that before putting it into the hot pan gives you a fluffier, lighter end result in your eggs. I spritz my nonstick mini skillet with a little bit of nonstick spray, and then I also go ahead and add about a teaspoon or two of Kerrygold salted butter, more for the taste than to prevent with sticking. And it only seemed right adding the butter and the Kerrygold cheese together just to take the flavor up a couple of notches. I like to maintain an extremely low heat under eggs, cook them very, very gently and slowly, and just keep them moving in the pan. This is a patience game. If you want them to come out properly, just take your time with them. If you put the fire up too high, they're gonna get brown and burned. I had to go ahead and just top my chapels with some chopped pecans and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter and pour drizzling of that delicious chopped zero maple pecan syrup on top for a perfect keto breakfast combination.
thanks to you if you made it to the end of this video. Let me know if you want to see more chaffle videos similar to this one by commenting chaffles or more chaffles in the description box below. I'll take that as an indication to make more videos just like this one. Also, please like, share, subscribe, and comment if you do enjoy the videos. It really does help the channel so I can bring you more recipes just like this one.